Hey, what's up guys? Fear here bringing you another video. Today's gameplay is going to be on Finn. And uh, I know a lot of you guys have been wanting something other than tank gameplays. So here we are. I'm going to jump right into this game on the Legendary Guard. I do run coffee on Finn, as we've mentioned before. Coffee is a very, very strong item in general, and that includes on Finn. So here we go, starting the igloo. I love the igloo, one of my favorite starting spots. I'm gonna grab all three weapons, kill this guard, grab this gold shotgun, and then we're gonna kill the legendary guard real quick. And then we're gonna probably check out what's below us. Uh, one thing I think is important to mention right off the bat is Finn's, <clears throat> Finn's chomp is capable of healing him to full on any character, uh, against any character, if used with vampire teeth. And what this means is you want to plan your chomp accordingly, so if someone's comboing you, wait until their combo's finished to use the chomp, if you can. If you have to do it mid-combo, that's fine. Uh, right here, I just have coffee, so I'm going crazy. You know, I'm just killing everybody to see, but generally, for people who are lower level, you, you want to look to plan your chomp out. And um, I want to make another note that Finn has very, very low base HP, and it's a little higher than Lizzie and Larry, <clears throat> but it's still low. And a lot of people think that Finn is overpowered, and I want to debunk that. I don't think this is true at all. I think Finn is actually underpowered. And the reason is because of how the meta has evolved over the last few updates. If you've noticed how, uh, even though Fuzzy was nerfed, which was a big problem for Finn, uh, tanks were buffed. The Duke was buffed, Lizzie was introduced, which was another counter to Finn. Buck was introduced. And way back in October when patch 1.7 came out, Finn was nerfed pretty heavily uh, in terms of range of motion. I think at this point, if the developers look to bring back that full range of motion, his chomp used to go, I think, uh, at least 50% farther, and his spear would go farther as well. I think at this point, um, it would be fine to bring that back because of how the meta has evolved, but uh, this is where we're at with Finn currently, and I just want you guys to know that he is definitely not overpowered, in my opinion, as some people believe. He is just very strong early game, and he has a lot of burst potential. With his full combo, he can zero or 100 to zero you pretty easily, as you can see me doing versus a lot of these players. Even with two health kits and adrenaline shot, I'm still dealing with them, no problem. Quick burst down. So we're gonna try and pick up this Larry here. Nick's engaging him at the moment. Looks like he wants his health kit, I'm gonna deny that. And he's dead. Cluster bomb, you see, doing some work there. This legendary grenade. Uh, this Bruce is flagging, not particularly, I don't particularly care, just gonna mow him down, and we're building up a nice little pile of kills here at 13, let's see if we can close it out with 16, there's 14, two more guys, on, let's get him. alright, looks like we'll either end up with 15 or 16 kills this game. This is the last guy, no? Hmm. Well, then he's either in that barrel or in this building. And the Molly was in this building, so. Okay, he wasn't there. Alright, that's a great first game. Uh, 16 kills for level 16. We're gonna jump right into the second game here, and I'm going to talk about early, mid, and late game. So you do see that I have my game sounds back on and I will still put music on, I'm testing all different kinds of methods. I wanna see what you guys think of no game sounds, music and commentary, all three uh, game sounds, music and commentary. And um, of course, most people said they didn't like game sounds plus commentary by themselves. So we're trying that for this video and uh, depending on how you guys feel about all three game sounds, music, and commentary, well, we'll we'll finalize the format from there. But I'm thinking it's going to be just music and commentary. But we'll see though. Okay, so early game, Finn. Uh, if you have coffee, go nuts. Just kill everything you see. Push the legendary guard. Finn is extremely strong. Uh, like I said, you know, huge burst potential. Um, you see me mowing people down there, one-shotting with the shotgun. That's just the power of level 16, but uh, let's say I was level 
12 here, level 11, as a lot of you guys are with Finn. Uh, still killing everybody there pretty easily. No worries. Um, mid game, uh, well actually let's, let's discuss early game with no coffee, um, just briefly. Uh, start a little more passive, but you, you can still go pretty aggressive. Like I said, Finn is a very strong early game, no matter what, if he has coffee or not. And for that reason, you can go pretty aggressive with him, uh, unless you're lower than level 10. If you're lower than level 10, you know, <laughs> as much as I hate it, grab your snorkel and just play around the water. Wait until the end of the game, build your trophies up until you get them higher level. Uh, mid game with Finn, you kind of just want to play uh, water. Look, look for picks. So this guy right here, uh, it's a nice pick. Getting hit by the fuzzy here. You know, you can just kind of swim around. You can be patient, wait out the circle shrinking, and go from there. Uh, in late game, you're gonna look to burst down people instantly. So likely everyone has two health kits in their adrenaline shot, but that's okay because what happens is this circle is so small that you can close the gap between them pretty easily and get your full combo off. So this guy, I'm not going to worry about too much. He is fuzzy and that means we'll have a pretty difficult time chasing him through all the water at the moment. We'll have to come in soon and that's where we'll look to pick him up. Some, somewhere over here, probably down this way. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna go through this igloo though, as that's the center point of the map now. And we're just gonna kinda chill here. Looks like this is where the game's gonna end. So you see now what I mean, we'll just kinda burst. And uh, everything will die pretty quickly with how you can easily gap close. There's two of his health kits, and he's dead. Now again, I am level 16, so this burst is unreasonable for most people, but that's not to say you can't do it with a level 12, you can still burst a Larry down like that. Anyway. Alright, just this pepper now. Uh, another thing I think is pretty cool about Finn is that his kill potential in solos is extremely high. This guy's just gonna run and deny me the last kill. I think that Finn has one of the highest kill potentials of anybody. Because of his chomp and how easily he can destroy people in the early game with coffee especially, uh, I think for that reason Finn is one of the, the strongest potential characters you know if you want kills for some reason kills don't really matter at the moment uh, other than adding to your profile but if you did want them I would definitely recommend using Finn Finn or, or Buck probably <laughs> all right so we're heading into the third game now and as usual I will give shout outs read comments answer questions we're gonna take it a little easier now uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna read some comments from the last video our Duke gameplay and commentary and give shout outs there. Starting from the bottom, uh, Victor Mateos, shout out to you, buddy. It's good, keep it. Uh, I think you lost a word there. It's good, keep at it, is what I imagine you meant to say. Thank you. I will definitely continue making these videos for you guys for as long as I play. Luke Tay, shout out to you, longtime friend. Shouted you out in our last video. Much love, man. Hi there, Bully. Um, music and commentary. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the feedback. Commentator and music is better, says Ahmed Guman. Make Molly videos, please. Uh, yeah, Molly videos should be coming up after a couple more. I think we have Fuzzy, Larry, and then maybe Molly after. I'd have to check, but she's coming up. Uh... Shout out to Avocado637. What is the best item in the game? Personally, at this at this time, I think it's uh, either Adrenaline Shot or Vampire Teeth. And the reason it's not Cluster Bomb is because those two items, the, the Vampire Teeth and the Adrenaline Shot, provide utility that is unparalleled to the damage output of Cluster Bomb. Uh, with Adrenaline Shot, if you have it past level 6, that means level 7 or level 8, you will have an overheal. And what I mean by that is health kits typically heal 50% of your health. If you use Adrenaline Shot at level 7 or level 8, and you let Adrenaline Shot heal for you, you will heal more than 50%. You'll heal 55%. 
uh, health at level seven adrenaline shot and 60% health from level eight adrenaline shot. Uh, vampire teeth is just because they're just incredibly strong. Your sustain becomes incredible. Your health pool, your effective health pool goes up immensely from the item and it's just a, like, it's just a must have on every character. Shout out to RL Turbo, nice video. A character in max level, how much HP and damage does? And to go Duke 2000, how much consecutive wins did you do? That's insane. Thanks, buddy. Uh, I see you a lot now on my videos. I appreciate the support. Um, to answer your question, your first question, uh, you can find a lot of info on my mega spreadsheet. It's in the description. It's a Google document, and it just is a mega guide for the game. It should answer any questions you have about uh, damage, HP, max HP, max level, all that good stuff. And to answer your question about how I got duped to 2000, uh, well, after you get to 1500 trophies, the amount of wins you need is pretty insane um, to get to 2000, as you're only getting three trophies per level. And for that reason, uh, I think that it's about 150 wins, not in a row, but yeah, it's definitely a lot to get to 2000. Okay, this guy is, is definitely being a nuisance. We're just gonna burst him here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give a couple more final shout outs and, and wrap it up here. Alan Hamed, I love these vids, probably the best. Much love, buddy. See you supporting the channel a lot. See you commenting. Thank you so much, man. Agnes B, what's your favorite character? Uh, personally, my favorite character right now is Lizzie, uh, but <laughs> I just really like her because she is is cute as fuck. <laughs> She's just so cute. Uh, Ahmed Guman, again, uh, bro, make videos for your man, or bro, I am your Kugo and Hugo's biggest fan, man. Yeah, much love, buddy. Thank you. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments. And uh, hope you learned something. Happy hunting.